come back <laughs> to Sister Circle Live. She exploded on the music scene in the late 80s with a sultry yet powerful voice that could get you on the dance floor one, one minute with songs like Fool's Paradise, then put you in a romantic mood the next with hits like Do Me Baby. Yes, uh, now Melissa Morgan is back with her first album in 13 years. It's called Love Demands. Take a look. Sharp girl. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Let me tell you about this hair and these shoes set oh, up. Oh, you like it? Mm -hmm. Yes, the way your outfit is set up. Yes. You're just so doing think, your thing. But see, I was not coming out here knowing you girls was going to be fly. <laughs> well, we're you trying know, to do a little, little something. something, something, something. I wasn't something. having it. <laughs> now, Melissa, you have been in the business such a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And still touring and still performing. Mm -hmm. How do you think that the R&B game has changed? Oh, it's changed a lot. I mean, you can't go in the store and buy a record no more. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Start that's that's it, over. Yeah. Really. So uh, streaming, downloading, mm -hmm. learning all of that, and mm -hmm. how, you, how your sales and stuff are different. Mm -hmm. it's, it's changed. And the music has changed, you yes. know? Mm -hmm. It's more edgy. It's more hip-hop, you know? R&B kind of lost its way about 10 years, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? With hip-hop, you know, coming and right. taking over. And it wasn't until hip-hop and R&B started coming coming together yes. that they said okay we'll accept you again you right. know I, I feel like we kind of got left out there that's true mm. and, yeah. and you started out with the legend so I know it's really hard for you because you were with Chaka Khan yes. and Whitney yes. Houston and so many many others yes. but tell us how you got your start oh my goodness I got my start in gospel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. singing in church choir and actually in the living room Come on now, in like, yeah, Mama's living room singing so R E S V E C T. <laughs> Find out what it means to me. All right, that you better me. give us a little taste. <laughs> <now. laughs> yes. Well, I want to know though, cause my jam is "Do Me Baby." Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm just <laughs> just gonna keep it all the way live. Okay. That's my jam. It is. Now, how did you come to remake this song by Prince? It is the weirdest story. When I signed with Hush Productions, who Melba Moore mm -hmm. and Charles Huggins and all of them, they mm -hmm. managed me and signed me. Uh, the president of Capitol Records at the time, Don Grierson, he mm. had that song on hold for two years. Mm. And Prince had already did it, but he put it on hold and he said, the next female R&B artist that I signed, she's got to do this song. And wow. it was me. Wow. wow. That's amazing. So yeah, it was a, like God's intervention. And yeah. thank God wow. it did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know no, speak, speaking of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we hear that you are engaged, uh, yeah. who's the lucky man? Yeah. Guys, you better get yeah. 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 Over there taping oh, Sebastian okay. Comets. Yeah, I met him in Knoxville, Tennessee, girl. And let me tell you something about Prince. Uh, they was looking for me. I couldn't find Prince. Prince found me, and then Prince wanted me to go on this tour mm -hmm. uh, for Jokes and Jams. And so they found me, and I went. My first uh, date was Knoxville, Tennessee, and that's where I met my fiance. Oh, is that wow. wild? So Prince has just been making things he happen. He is just for me. bringing mm -hmm. yeah. things together. Look, you still smiling. It ain't easy yeah. being cheesy. Look at that. Just grinning. <laughs> <laughs> when, you get, when you get hitched, that's what it happens. You know? Oh, yeah, girl. I'm very satisfied. Well, very <laughs> okay, so you have a new album coming called Love oh, Demands, God, yes. and it's a mix of classics and new things. Yes. What was your decision behind that? Oh my well, what goodness. What was the intentionality behind that decision? That's okay. Everybody loves when I do classics. Mm -hmm. Love Changes with Kashif. Yes. Yes, I did uh, Do Me Baby. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, uh, and my last CD before this, I did like Ain't No Way and stuff mm. like that. And Valerie Simpson was playing piano. So everybody likes that I do classics. So the record company decided to do six cover songs and do six new ones so you can give people what they want, what right. they remember, and then some new stuff, you uh -huh. know? Yeah. Well, one of the remakes you're doing is from Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Yes. So tell us how that came to be. I have always loved Aretha Franklin. Like yeah. I told you, I started singing Respect mm -hmm. in my mother's living right. room. So uh, my last CD I did, Ain't No Way, a little snippet of it. And this time we wanted to do a whole song. And I picked that song long before I knew she was not well. Really? And she wasn't going to be really? here with us. Oh. Yeah. So uh, we picked Never Loved a Man. And even though we have no more out, Never Loved a Man is what radio is like. And yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a, that is a jam. Child. I know. <laughs> Are there any, I mean, last, last but not least of a question? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but are there any artists out here that inspire you right now? That's well, it. you know what? Believe it or not, I like Drake. Me too, child. I'm sorry. I, I, love, me. I love me some I Drake. Know. I, I know. wish I could have did the challenge. I know that's why. Kiki. <laughs> I know that's why. Kiki. Yeah. Yeah. Drake yeah. does his thing. <laughs> The people, are, well, the people are not sleep on Drake. Yeah. Drake has lots of I like of Drake. I like um, her. I Don't like her as well. Her? And you know what? I like Little Caesar. You I know like what Little Caesar. You know what I'm saying? I like real music. Yes. People that are real to what they do. Drake is real to what he does. Yes. Her is real to what she does. And Little Caesar, I don't know. He just somewhere yeah. else. And, and, and you know <laughs> like, what? I think they're bringing back. R&B, yeah. yeah. because and they're the doing it the right way. Now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That. And that's what I tell people about my CD, Love Demands, with the new stuff. Mm -hmm. It's R&B now. It's Melissa now. I can't do what I did 30 years I know, ago. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to bring new memories to what I'm doing now. That's right. Well, we are yeah. so excited that you are oh, still yes. creating new memories right now and still singing. And if you're in the Atlanta area, you yes. can catch Melissa's album release concert this Saturday at the St. James Live venue. And don't forget to check out our her new album, Love Demands, on streaming everywhere. services everywhere, everywhere in the United States of America. Yeah.